Um, why did you bring a dog to a business networking event? Oh, this isn't just any dog. This is my networking assistant. A dog as a networking assistant at a professional event. Exactly. Everyone loves dogs, right? It's the perfect icebreaker. That's not exactly what they mean by breaking the ice in networking. Really? Then what am I supposed to do? I thought networking was all about getting attention and making sales pitches. You know, I used to think networking events were useless too, but there's actually a bit more to it than that. Oh? Do tell! Should I have brought more dogs? No, definitely not more dogs. Look, networking is about building relationships, not just selling. You need to listen to people and understand their needs. But how will they know about my amazing insurance packages? Trust me, if you build a relationship first, they'll ask. Here, let's practice. What's your name? You know, I don't actually have a name. I'm just an avatar in a video. Right, we're doing that audience thing again. Okay, let's call you Doggy Dana. I like it. So, what do I do now? Well, Dana, instead of trying to sell immediately, why don't you ask me about my business? Okay, what's your business? I'm a graphic designer. I help businesses create visual branding that stands out. But when do I talk about insurance? Not yet. Instead, you could ask me about the challenges I face in my business. All right. What challenges do you face in your business? Well, I often work with clients who need to protect their intellectual property. That's actually where insurance could come in handy. Really? So I can talk about insurance now? See? By showing interest in my business, you've naturally created an opening to talk about yours. Wow, this is like magic. But wait, where did you learn all this? I can't believe I'm admitting this, but it was at Casey Eberhardt's Networking Riches event, the same one I was completely skeptical about before attending. That sounds amazing. How can I learn more? Well, you can click on the link in the comments below. They have events coming up that could really help you and maybe help you realize you don't need a dog as a networking prop. Thanks. I'll definitely look into it. Maybe at the next event, I'll be the one giving advice. And who knows? Maybe next time, I'll be the one teaching the lessons. Just hopefully without any canine assistance.